everyone welcome back to Jela's kitchen so one of the most famous and popular self-sourcing putting winter comfort food and easy to understand why this is such a classic and crowd pleaser today i'll be making a chocolate self-sourcing pudding so let's get to it i'm starting off with my dry ingredients i have one cup of self-raising flour here i have a quarter teaspoon of salt i have three tablespoons of cocoa powder And I have a third cup of caster sugar. I am giving that a mix and putting it aside. I have one egg here with a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Adding this to a separate bowl. I also have three tablespoons of melted butter and a cup of milk and giving that a mix And I'm just using a whisk and now I'm adding my dry to my wet ingredients Oops. so I'm doing a single portion today the last time I doubled everything Adding the rest of the flour so using the whisk added a bit more milk to get to this consistency so I would say like almost a cup of milk I have a well greased bowl here and I just use um, spray and cook and I'm transferring it so I'm using I haven't used use it with this pirates dish so hopefully it will be fine because like I said I made I've never made a single batch two tablespoons of cocoa powder half a cup brown sugar half a cup white sugar i'm giving this a mix and now i'm sprinkling this over the batter wind is really blowing a lot and I am outside make sure you cover every piece with the sugar cocoa powder mixture okay I've got one and a third cup of boiling water and I'm gonna use the back of the spoon slowly slowly just to pour the water make sure that every piece gets covered you do it slowly So you do it slowly and make sure that there's it won't make any holes in the cake so this is this is going into a preheated oven 170 degrees celsius i'm going to make it for 25 to 30 minutes so my dessert just came just came out of the oven as you can see it's dry on top so what happens here is that the sauce sink in the pudding and the pudding rise to the top so i am going to sprinkle icing 
sugar. It looks like a lot of sauce at the bottom. That is why I baked it for 25 minutes and not for 30. No, not 25, it was 27 minutes to be exactly. And not 30 minutes because I want the sauce to be at the bottom. Okay. I am going to plate up. There you go. You can see the cake part at the bottom, the chocolate sauce. Ooh, it looks delicious. It's still very hot, so very hot. So this is the ultimate comfort food, chocolatey, fudgy, rich and warming. And my chocolate dessert is ready. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram or Facebook. The link and the recipe will be in the description. Thank you for watching. And bye. Bye.